Hey guys, um, it's been almost a week since I made a video. I did post a blog post uh, a few days ago. It's been kind of a crazy weekend week. Um, it was my birthday on Friday. I am now 26 years old. Woot woot. Um, this week has been kind of interesting because of the birthday. Um, I took some days off from work, which was really very nice. It's much needed. Sometimes you just need that time away from there. Also, starting that past Monday, you know, doing core, then Tuesday doing our legs and buns, and Wednesday doing arms and abs, and then Thursday I did yoga, and I absolutely loved that. And I honestly found that I was drenched I was so gross afterwards, but stretching after being sore for three days and then getting to stretch it all out, I like walked away from that feeling super limber and like impressed with myself. I was like, this is nice. So I loved yoga and I never ever thought I would. So props to everybody that's been on the yoga train. I should have joined a long time ago. Um, Friday was my birthday. Didn't do anything because we take Friday and Saturdays off. Saturday didn't do anything, just birthday stuff. Um, Sunday we did cardio, then Monday we did core again, and I had to work, so I did that before work. Um, kind of set in halfway through work, I kind of, my leg was hurting, my hip. Tuesday, which was yesterday, um, woke up, my hip was killing me. Took a nap, my hip was still killing me. Um, I took some pain meds, and I was knocked out. So I didn't end up working out, and I feel really bad about that because I didn't want to miss an opportunity this early on in my voyage and my journey. Um, and then today we did our arms and abs again. Um, did some new things that we didn't do last week. Um, did a lot of the same stuff from last week. I walked away feeling stinky and sore. And that's why I look wonderful right now. So beautiful. Um, tomorrow we'll do yoga. And then I'm going to decide that, not only just because I did miss doing stuff on Tuesday, but I've realized that I really love running. And in these workouts, it's very like, actually, and, and know that I'm not going to a gym. I am going to my friend's house and we're doing the P90X workouts. Um, we're taking from this and taking from that and taking from this and we're devising our own workout based upon the moves that they do, or we sometimes even work out with the P90X DVD. Um, I'm learning that Tony Horton is hilarious, um, and I'm learning that those people make it look so effortless, effortlessly, doing like, oh yeah, pull up, oh yeah, mm-hmm. No, that's not how Dustin does it, and that's why I haven't filmed one of these yet, because we need to work on my language when I work out. Because when something is really hardcore for me, and I'm really trying, and I'm trying to do that push-up, yeah, I'm yelling a whole lot of verbal slurs that probably you'd have to turn down. You couldn't watch them, my videos at work. So until I can get that under control, we may not be filming those. Um, but yeah, so this Friday and Saturday, because I love running so much, and the place, I now live in a home, like a house, before I was in the apartment, um, as most of you probably know, and the apartment was wonderful and I loved it and I, I really do miss it because it was on the other side of town near all of my friends that I work out with. Um, but the best part about that apartment was that they hit a huge workout facility and for most apartment complexes they really don't have the best workout rooms or equipment. Um, or it might be dirty or old. Um, this was state of the art, brand new, very large, overlooked the pool. It was like it was a good setup. Um, and I missed going there and running. And when I had lost, um, we'll we'll say this. I weighed, I think it was two ninety three, two ninety seven, in January of twenty ten, and into the summer and the end of January 2010, I weighed around 220, 225. So I had lost like 70, 75 pounds. Um, and it was amazing, but it was all literally just from running and then cooking at home more. And I had a roommate that cooked, Eddie, uh, made a lot of Mexican food, it was very good. Um, he was also watching 
his weight and working out with me. So it was, a, it was a good team effort. So now that I didn't have that, I noticed that a lot of last year, I started to gain some of that weight back. Um, last time that I weighed myself, I was 247 point something, close to 248. And we were going back up, opposite direction, not where I wanted to go. I could tell in the clothes that I had bought when I had lost some weight that they were not fitting right. Um, it's kind of sad, didn't like it. That's what kind of jump started all of this. I was like, whoa, what are you doing? Like, get your life together. You work so hard to get that weight off. Why are you putting it back on? Um, and so, doing all of that, um, and not having a treadmill, I've decided I really need to like run around the neighborhood because I don't have a treadmill here, but on Friday and Saturday I need something to do because like having a day off from actually like lifting weights or doing sit-ups and push-ups and wacky jacks and uh, just squats and lunges and yoga moves and downward dog, upward dog, warrior one, two and three and all of these things. Um, I really, I want to stay active because I noticed that on Friday and Saturday of this past week when we didn't do anything, that I was still waking up early and, I, and especially after Thursday, kind of off that high of like, oh, I feel so good. I was like, what am I going to do? Oh, yeah, we're not working out today. Hmm. And then that kind of that, that chemical balance goes away and that excitement and that inspiration for yourself goes away. And then you just kind of become lazy for those two days and I didn't feel as good as when I work out every day. So, on those days I'm gonna run. We're gonna see how well that works. I think that that will make me happy because it gives you that alone time where you can just listen to music and you're doing something and I don't know what it is and it surprises me being the fact that I do smoke and the fact that I am overweight that I can run, like I love it. So, I'm gonna do that um, in addition to the workouts that we do throughout the rest of the week. And we're going to see how well that goes. Um, so yeah. Something that I've noticed also is that first week was hard because you're learning all of these moves. Second week around it was, oh, do you remember this? This is the name. Oh yeah, okay, this is what we did. And I was ready to do it because I knew how it felt on my body. Before it was like a mental thing. Like I really, I was like, I want to do this. I want to just push through. But at the same time, it's like, can I do this? Like... I don't think I can do that. And it's like a self-doubt. So having somebody there that's like, you're doing good, you're doing good form, keep up, you can do one more, can you do two more? Like having that encouragement and then being able to share it with you guys and having you know all of the messages and, and the text and, and everything that I've experienced really got me through that week. Because it's like you're self-doubting everything and you're sore and you don't really want to do it. But at the same time, that chemical release, you're feeling so good that you want to push through, you want to continue, you want to do something the next day. So, knowing that, this week was a little bit easier because I kind of ex knew what to expect. Um, we've done little variations of things, so kept it fresh and, and fun. Um, with that being said, if you're just starting or if, if you're thinking about starting, know that it's super hard. Um, but if you can make it through the first few days of being sore, um, if you can learn to step away from processed food um, and cook and eat healthy, um, fruits and vegetables and smarter choices and proteins, um, and just cooking instead of you know, going to McDonald's and Taco Bell and all of those fast food places, but just actually cooking makes quite the difference. Um, something that I love is popcorn. Um, Orville Redenbacher makes this Smart Pop little mini bags, 100 calories per bag. It's just enough um, to really get that flavor and to, to taste it. And it's buttery and it's really good. For 100 calories, it's an amazing snack. Um, there's another thing at Kroger's and they're um, the little mini crisps. And um, they're apple cinnamon flavored and just a little, um, what do they call them? Like, I don't, I don't even know what they're called. I'll bring them next time for the video. I could get up and go get them right now, but then there'd be like 10 seconds of nothing and blah, blah, blah. Anyway, so that's something else that I really enjoy. Um, and I got that from Kroger, Kroger brand. It was like a couple bucks, like $1.50 or something. Really good snack. Um, so yeah, 
And also, I'm really proud of, like, all of my friends. So, Jeremy and Rachel are the ones that I'm doing most, if, well, all of my workouts so far have been with them. And I'm really proud of them for sticking through for themselves because they're doing just the same things. And Jeremy's doing his other whole P90X Phase 2. And we watched that and, like, my, my arms and back hurt just from watching him. And then, um, Rachel is pushing through too. Um, she's doing a very great job and they're both being so encouraging and like it's interesting to work out with them together and then to work out one-on-one -on -one with each of them because some days where our schedules work I only see one or the other and then some days I see both and it's super fun and that's what I think is making it enjoyable in a sense for me is not only is it just like how I feel but it's also just being there with friends makes it a little bit easier. Um, and then my friend Tim is doing a marathon in Atlanta this weekend, and it's a 10K run, I think, is what he said. And I'm super excited for him, and I kind of like want to do that next year, I think. I think I want to do that. Because um, they've got, you know, the Music City Marathon and stuff like that here in Nashville, and I would love to do that, but to like, get out of town and travel and do something like that would be super fun to me. I, I would love to do that. Um, so yeah. And then my friend Alyssa, who recently moved from Nashville, far, far away to Washington, um, she is working out as well. And so she's like texting or commenting on my stuff and like asking, what's up? How are you? This is what I'm doing. You're doing a great job. Liking my stuff. Like that's encouraging to me too. Like, I hope, and like, I hope she's finding inspiration in this because I'm super excited that other people are like doing this at the same time. And even when they're not like right there in front of me, it's super exciting. Um, my other friend, Jonathan, that's what happens when my phone goes off. It's the Britney laugh. Um, my other friend, Jonathan sent me a text message that said, basically, you're inspiring me to continue to work out. You're being my motivation. And I thought that was awesome. So I really like hearing those things because it makes me feel like I need to push through and like continue and do what I need to do. But then it feels so good because it's like, I'm not alone. There are so many people in my daily life that I see that are doing this. And then there are people that I'm talking with at work because I'm so excited about it. And they're like, oh, I see that you're... I dropped my phone. I see that you're eating a snack. Do you hear Brittany over there? Ah. I see that you're eating a really healthy snack. Like, I'm really proud of you. And then, like, I'll be talking. Like, I'll show them, like, the steam engines where you kick your leg up to this knee and kick your leg up to this knee and you do this. I was like, it's super, it's not easy, but it gets your heart rate going and it's stretching you and it's working those muscles. That, like, I was doing it at work. I was like, this is how you do it. And then I was like, all right, we've done 20. I was like, all right. And, like, I, I hope that I inspire them to do it, too. And I think that I am. So... All right, well, I've babbled enough, and you kind of got an update for what's been going on, and I will be making more videos, and I'll definitely be writing some as well. Um, last couple of days has been kind of crazy because of the whole birthday weekend, but thank you guys for watching, commenting, subscribing, tweeting, messaging, texting, all of the above, because you're inspiring me to continue, so thank you. Y'all have a great night, and I will see you next time. Love you. Bye.